Hi, Jim Wilson back with another video of Katia V5 and this is the continuation video of making a thread. So in previous video I showed you how to make the helix and in this video I will show you how to make a sketch on thread or I would say sketch which is basically the profile of the thread which is going to go and propagate all through the helix that we made. So in order to do so we have to make first a plane. We go to plane. We can simply click on the profile, which is the helix, and it's asking us for a point as well, a reference point to actually start a sketch on. So I'm going to use the same point that I used to make the helix. So I'm going to click OK. So I have, if you see properly, it's going to be tangent, perfectly tangent. The plane is perfectly tangent, and per perpendicular to the, uh, to the helix. So if I make any particular sketch on this plane, it means that it's going to be following all the way through perfectly. So I'm going to click on sketch using that particular plane. So I'm just going to make any random thread profile. It doesn't need to be accurate. I just prefer using any sort of trapezium shape because that's what I've seen most of the profiles look like. To make a thread. I'm going to keep it slightly bigger just in case if I want to cut a little bit deeper. I'm going to exit out. So now actually if I want to make a thread I need to use part design feature. I go back from generative shape design to part design and use feature called slot right here. If you see I click on slot it's asking me for a profile which I already made which is right here. And it's asking me of a center curve, which is going to be our helix. You see, it's following the path. And if I click preview, it's cutting that particular path that's going through. So I click OK, warning it just like that. And here we go. So you can see this way, you can easily adjust the helix if you want to. You can reduce the helix. Alright, if you want to simply change the pitch and you can reduce and similarly if you have control of the sketch of the slot you can increase the depth or decrease the depth or increase the width or whichever way you like it right so it's going to have a direct effect on the depth and also on the width of the thread and that's how you actually make a thread in Katia V5. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. In this video we covered how to make a slot and also how to make threads in Katia. Take it easy and bye.